you know, people don't always tell you the whole truth. It's not that they're intentionally lying, but sometimes the truth is difficult to look at. In coaching, we sometimes have to help people to look at the darker corners of their story in order to help them to determine what is best to do next. Hi, I'm Marcia Reynolds. And in other videos, I've talked about actively replaying words so people can look at the stories they're living by. Today, we're going to look at actively replaying emotions, which could be the most powerful moments in your coaching if you use the two skills of non-reactive empathy and compassionate curiosity. First, I want to say that emotions are neither good nor bad. They're just energy moving through the body. And behind the energy might be important information. So even the, the small shifts, like when people hesitate and, and look away, or they get louder or softer when they're talking, it's important to share that, to see what they think about it. But even tears and anger, are okay in the moment. You, you want to create a very safe space for them to express themselves, no matter what it is they're feeling. Now, this isn't therapy. We aren't there to heal them. We're just there to, to notice what's going on, to share it with them, and see what they think about it. And you don't want to stop them from feeling or, or heal them because that might make them feel weak or frustrated or even guilty that they made you feel something. So you're not a cheerleader. You're just there to say, it's okay no matter what you feel. So in those moments, you might feel something. It might be your reaction or maybe you're picking up their emotions. Either way, a non-reactive empathy, we notice tension, we release it. And then we come back to be present and use compassionate curiosity to share what we notice and then to ask them what it meant to, to them and to the goal they're trying to achieve. Like let's say they get excited when they're talking about their choices and you say, you seem to be excited about this, but not the other one. What's stopping you from doing this? Or maybe they get really quiet when they're talking about other people. And, and you might say, huh, it sounds like there's a regret or something's unsettled. What's going on for you? Is this affecting your goal and your choices? And then you accept whatever it is that they share in, in response. And maybe you need to use silence and let them think. And maybe they're not ready, but they'll come back to it. When we come to understand our emotions, we better understand ourselves. Actively replaying emotional shifts is essential to coaching the person not their problem.